Uh, welcome to everyone who is watching the stream. Um, we are having a fourth round on the loose uh, It's going to be Falcon Academy, uh, aka Power of the Dark versus uh, Esuba, aka Dark Brotherhood. And Esuba managed to lose the bash. And uh, Falcon Academy are going to choose the side. And I am really curious what side they will uh, choose. Uh, they have chosen allies, uh, and I think uh, it's gonna be easier, uh, easier side to play. Uh, but it's hard to say because we haven't seen this map yet in the Call of Duty one. Uh, we don't know how to play. Uh, we know this map. Uh, I know the map only from the movies of Call of Duty two, so I know that uh, X's are gonna have uh, to cross to. The a plan through here, and as you know, all you guys, the one doesn't have a smoke, so it's gonna be really interesting to watch uh, the crossing, uh, crossing uh, uh, on the A plan. Oh, it's a B plan, I'm sorry. Uh, crossing to the B plan, yeah. Explosives planted.
I'm surprised that uh, Falcon Academy don't play the Now players are talking about this map, they don't really like uh, this map actually. It's all alone, uh, RS uh, against three X's. about this map uh, they are they are saying they don't really like it uh, and it's a bullshit now we can see why they don't play the uh, scope to cover the crossing because uh, this map is well it's a burger team, but it's a burger team made for Call of Duty 1 so it's a little bit different here's RS meanwhile exchange um, yes it's managed to kill both kind of the B Check the virus uh, to the back uh, load up and it's C on T right now. Underestimated done by Max Yeah, I'm lowering the the, the voice, uh, I mean the sound from the game, so maybe you can hear me. I'm not able to do anything with, with my microphone. I uh, pick on uh, against Hectic, one on one, uh, and Pico does not have much time, no, uh, it's still 40 seconds, so he's having the time. He's Explosives planting. Uh, Pico gets hit. Nicely done. to kill Hectic there. Third point for Falcon Academy there and uh, yeah players don't like this map
I'm just finishing my food. Uh, I, I'm gonna grab a beer too. Um, yeah, pit point uh, for Falcon Academy. It looks like uh, they know what to do right now. Iris is pretty trapped in here. He's gonna die to the He needs to run away. Popcorn kills him. Nicely done. Uh, Iris pushed too hard uh, without teammates there. It's all alone, um, yes, it's at the B. Max uh, takes it down. Uh, well done, uh, third point for Esuba. Um, yeah, interesting map to watch. Uh, the allies are having spawned so much. In front, I think one of them can be even on this place. Um, yeah, really interesting. And we are seeing uh, Falcon Academy changing the tactics, but uh, Axis are already uh, two of them on the on the A plant uh, and Falcon can manage to kill uh, three players so it's a five on two hard uh, situation for the Suba jacket and he's getting aimed by Iris and I don't think he knows and A is clean uh, Iris waited for jacket and he had no chance in the end, so we've seen a little bit uh, change tactic uh, by uh, Falcon Academy. They went on the middle, two on them, uh, of them on the middle, one on the A and one on the B. Oh, Iris can do some nades on this map. Are you kidding me? Oh, really? Fatschers was already in the back, he, he's not really worried about himself, but he's getting killed and Max is getting killed too, so it's 5 on 3 and tough position for Esuba, only 2 players hectic on the left on the B, uh, so Botkan dies to Mnesic also. Planted. I think he's uh, not able to do anything and it's 7th point uh, for uh, Falcon Academy and Esuba will need some more points and we will see how they will manage the attacking side because uh, I think it's easier in the end uh, you can be really soon on the plan Basically, throw the nades right away from the respawn. That's pretty weird, to be honest. We are seeing Falcon uh, Academy are not anymore on the B. So it's all alone. R is getting killed by uh, Patches, but he missed the back. Jacket was throwing the, the nail like this. What the fuck was that? 
and uh, situation is two and one. And all alone, Aris uh, getting killed immediately by patches. Uh, the advantage uh, of this map is the rounds are pretty, uh, pretty uh, solid, like uh, fast. Uh, a lot of action really soon. So. Uh, Fourth kill for Max. Can he finish the own age? He does not know about Aris. He's in the B house. And it's interesting jump there. And last round. Uh, coming uh, really important uh, point it would be really important point for uh, Asuba to make this point He did a lot of kills last round, last couple of rounds, so his team really relaying on him. Patches, nice camp there, killing Max, and he knows there are no patches in the end. But he does not have much life uh, to fight with. Fight with. Um, Trying to push a little bit. I was trying to do the jump. I don't think you know, it's gonna be uh, worth it. Uh, it's getting killed by Hectic. Nicely done. Nice, uh, two on one situation, one on one. Ambik versus Jacket in the end. And Ambik was able to kill Jacket in the end. So it's 8 to 5 uh, in favor of Falcon Academy. And we are going to change the side. So I'm really curious uh, how Asuba will uh, manage the taking side. We have seen uh, Aris already trained some nades. So uh, I don't really think Asuba went through this map uh, any, anyhow, so... All players ready, let's get it on! haven't done much to be honest. They're kind of late. They were uh, Falcon can be where on the plant already. They managed to kill one guy on the uh, refrag, uh, and it's all alone. Who's that? Hectic. More people. Nicely done. Nice back there. Pickles was worried, so he was. 
he wasn't really wanting to bash, so we need just to kill him. right now or never because uh, they haven't done much uh, they are late on the positions their nate nates are also late and that's it nice nates on the, on the plant right now we are seeing big rush from the s on the beat really fast push nice kill by jacket second kill by jacket there and we need to plant right away. They, they don't even know where to run because it's so small. Explosive so point. small map for five players. Nice kill by check at third one. Three on two situation patches of health. So does spot check it. Patches uh, secure the round for Esuba. Uh, I'm glad I see it. Uh, big push from Esuba on the, on the B plant, and it was worth it. Nice nades coming there, and Falcon Academy could not cross. Uh, uh, at, the, at this truck on the P plant, so. Nades by Iris, I would say. seconds to go it's enough enough time to 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 do something max got hit uh, a nice kill by hectic he overplayed Max in the end. He was faking the bomb and Max just went to the to Hectic's I'm so it's seven point four Yeah exactly nicely said by by Giorgio I would say It 
it alone, you know, patches, and he won't do anything. Eleven to seven in favor of Falcon Academy and Dark Boy Squad to do anything. Uh, Falcon Academy will be able to score the twelve point, and it look it looks like that because it's two on four right now. Four on one and hectic getting killed. So twelve point. Uh, Falcon Academy and they are having the momentum the moral of uh, a Suba right now is pretty down so we'll see if uh, Falcon Academy will get advantage of it uh, a Suba needs to do all the points right now to be able to beat uh, this uh, their opponent uh, without overtime so the pressure is on right now Pico up downing so much. And I saw a, saw a ally on the street and he didn't even care about that. Check it nicely killed Iris there. And it's five on uh, five on one right now all alone and big here in the cottage on the B uh, plant and he's able to kill patches but meanwhile planting A from a full HP on MB still Lucky for check it uh, that uh, I'm big wasn't aiming there, but he was in hurry, he had no time. So, nice, nice point by Asuba, and they need uh, six more points in a row to win this matchup without the overtime. So, as I said, pressure is on. Uh, those teams don't really like this map overall, they were complaining about this type of map. Nice patches, already rushes uh, on the B. With a name, uh, well done. Iris also getting killed on the B, and Hectic is able to plant. Explosives planted. And well done, my Botkan jumping on the roof there. Uh, that's that's really, really uh, important jump uh, on, on this map, I would say, because uh, you can't, you can basically jump from this. Uh, from th from this ACP uh, uh, to the to the uh, to the roof and cover the middle and you, no one has to you cover the middle and all uh, of the all four players can be uh, on the B plan so uh, nice kind of like check there and now they might get the uh, the playstyle of this map they just rush B and that's it they can't do anything. All alone, big cutter. were too late. Uh, Axis guys are already already uh, be uh, in the B cottage, so it's gonna be tough uh, 
spell for Asuba if they uh, if they will try to go on uh, try to go on the B. And we are seeing a nade from Hectic to the house. That's really interesting. Still one minute to go for a suba there. And hectic uh, just got hit, so no HP. Ambic is waiting for him. He's looking at uh, zero angle, just. Waiting uh, the allies to come. Nice kill by Potkan there. It's all alone, Ambik, and he's on the B. If they don't know, he can do a lot there. And they are heading to the A. And uh, that's a good decision, decision by them. Explosives planted. Max secured the kill in the end. Well done uh, by S. Suba now. So it's 12 to 11. And. And nice job by Dark Brotherhood alias S. Suba. Uh, hard matchup we are, we are uh, seeing, yeah. Slower round, nicely done by Max. He was going really slow, and it was worth it. But he should carry. Uh, Arvis is already at the A plan, and uh, Max is getting killed by a nice shot by Arvis. Hectic and patches right now, three on two situation. And Potkan left also. Yes, he dies, and it's all around. Arvis at the B, and Potkan kills him. So it's. The game is even, it's 12 12 and this is gonna be tough for both sides in the end. Well done. And good opening kill uh, by pick on the jacket. Two kills right now uh, uh, from the exit side of the allies. So it's 5 on 2 and this is gonna be really hard for Esuba. Now or never, uh, Esuba need to draw this game 
uh, and go into the overtime to do anything with this matchup. This is really interesting jump. I haven't seen that yet. Ah, oh, there's no HP. Zero HP for him. And Miesis is able to kill third kill for Miesis this round. And it's two on five. Only Potkan, only Max left against five people. And this is the match point for Falcon Academy. And if you, they do this point, uh, it's game over. And it is game over. Oh, that's unfortunate for Dark Brotherhood. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, it was interesting map to see. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I don't really think it's it should be part of Call of Duty 1 map list, but it was interesting to see and see you next time.